Stories for Patus. Hello Patus, hope you're all doing well. Ready for today's story? And I've got one more person reading the story with me today. And let's see who it is, okay? Ready? Hi Rahul. I'm not Rahul. Who are I'm you? I'm Roshan. This is Roshan, my second son. And he came over for the weekend and I asked him if he wants to read a book with me. And he picked a book that he read when he was? A very little boy. A very little boy. How old were you when you read this, Roshan? I was about six, seven. So I think it's going to be a very nice book and I hope you enjoy it. So the title of this book is Koala Lu. The author of this book is Mem Fox. And the illustrator of this book is Pamela Loves. But too, it's a beautiful story about all the native animals that you'll find in Australia. So let's go and have a look. You know, when I see the two of them, I just think this is me and this is Roshi. <laughs> so let's go and have a look. Okay, ready? And what accent are you going to read in? Australian. And I'm going to just talk in my Indian accent. All right. Okay, ready? Yes. There was once a baby koala, so soft and round that all who saw her loved her. Her name was Koala Lu. And have a look, Patu. And do you remember I told you in one of the stories that you can't call them a bear. They're not a bear. They are koalas. That's all, okay? And look, they live in gum trees or eucalyptus trees and they like to eat gum leaves. So look at how cute Koala Lu is. It's about her story. Let's have a look. The emu loved her. The platypus loved her. And even tough little koala claws next door loved her. So everybody loved Koala Lu, including koala claws. Apparently koala claws was a bit tough and rough, but still loved this koala Lu. Look at the beautiful animals, all the Australian native animals. But it was her mother who loved her most of all. A hundred times a day, she would laugh and shake her head and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. Hey, I'm the mum koala and this is Koala Lu. Don't forget. <laughs> okay. All right. Have a look. There's mummy and there's Koala Lu. And look at mummy. She's so happy playing with Koala Lu. Whenever she stretched in the early morning sun or climbed a gum tree or bravely went down the track all by herself, her mother would smile and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. Look, so anything that Koala Lu did for the first time or maybe the hundredth time, mums always are proud of what you do. And look at mum. She went, oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Does your mom do that? When you do something that she said, oh, I do love you. Yeah. Have a look. Very brave, isn't it? The years passed and other koalas were born. Brothers and sisters for Koala Lu. Soon her mother was so busy that she didn't have time to tell Koala Lu that she loved her. Although, of course, she loved her. Of course. So look, there were more brothers and sisters in the family. But look, Koala, Koala Lu's over there thinking, Oh, mommy doesn't say I love you anymore. Because look, mommy's so busy. She's looking after the other little koalas. That doesn't mean that mommy doesn't love Koala Lu. Why would she even think that, Roshu? She just feels a bit lonely. But... Yeah, I think sometimes everybody needs mommy for themselves, mm. isn't it? <laughs> Every night, as she curled up under the stars, Koala Lu thought about the times when her mother had looked at her and said, Koala Lu, I do love you. And she longed for her to say it again. One night, Koala Lu had a splendid idea. Preparations had begun for the Bush Olympics. She would enter the Olympics. She would compete in, gum tree climb in the mm. gum tree climbing event. And she would win. And her mother would fling her arms around her neck and say again, Koala Lu, I do love you. Have a look. That's a good 
Yeah, I didn't know that they had uh, Bush Olympics. They do, just like the normal Olympics, they have Bush Olympics. So animals. like human El- Olympics, they've got animal Olympics. Wow, in the bush. So Koala Lu wanted to be part of the Olympics and win so that mommy could say, Koala Lu, I do love you. You know what, Roshu? I feel she could have actually gone to her mom and said, Mom, I do miss you. Can you say Koala Lu, I do? And she would have done it anyway. Uh, let's see what happens now. Oh, look. Mm, but that's a brilliant idea to participate in the Olympics. Koala Lu began her training right away. She jogged and puffed and lifted weights and panted. She hung from a branch with one claw at a time till she ached. She did push-ups until her stomach hurt. Oh. And last of all, she climbed the tallest tree she could ever find over and over again. Look, look at all the training, Pattu. So, um, hanging off that branch and look at that. Hey, look at the cool shoes. Mm-hmm. Koala's loose, trying very, very hard and look, doing a lot of practice to participate in the Bush Olympics. That's cool. Mm? Let's see. She's trying her very best. Absolutely, absolutely. Sometimes her mother would watch her and ask, How are you going, Blossom? Fine, just fine, Koala Lu would reply. Look, mommy was busy looking after the little ones and she would walk past the gum tree and she saw Koala Lu training. And she would ask, How are you going, darling? And Koala just said, Fine, I'm okay, mommy. At last, the day of the Bush Olympics had arrived. Have a look. Look at all the animals. And they're all wearing hats. Roshu, why are they all wearing hats? For the, like, they're all wearing hats, all the animals. They want to look good. And it's hot. Yeah. Very hot. Some places in Australia are very, very hot. So they have to wear hats to keep their head, their face and their neck safe. And... Look at them, all colourful. They've got their sunnies, sunglasses. They look very cool. And look, the Olympic torch. What? Just like our Olympics. And let's have a look. Mm. Koala claws had also entered the gum tree climbing. And everyone knew how fast she was. But Koala Lu wasn't scared. She saw her mother in the crowd and imagined her saying again, Koala Lu, I do love you. Her heart filled with hope. Oh, look. They're, they're getting ready for their competition, Pattu. And it's the tree climbing competition. <laughs> look at this. There's Koala Claus already. And Koala Lu saw mummy in the crowd. There. There's mummy in the crowd. And all she wanted mummy was to say, I love you. Mummy loves her. I don't know why she wants to do all this to impress mummy. You don't have to impress mummy. It was Koala Claus who went first. Her climb was a record breaking 22 meters. Wow. In 70 seconds flat. The spectators whistled and cheered and wildly waved their holiday hats. Woo! Woo! Well done, Koala Claus! And do you know how to whistle? Let me try. No, I don't think so. I can't do that. You can whistle like that though. Practice and we'll get it, right? And look, there. I think we should give Koala Claus a clap. Well done. Okay, now we'll see what Koala Lu does. Mm. Can I do better than that? Thought Koala Lu. I must. As she stepped towards the tree, a hush fell over the crowd. On On your marks, said the kookaburra. Get Get set, set, go! go! Look, there. Now it's our Koala Lu's turn to climb up the tree. That's all. Can we all say go Koala Lu? Go Koala Lu! Go! Koala Lu leapt up to the tree. Come on, come on. Up and up and up she climbed, higher and higher and higher. Faster and faster and faster, until there she was, right at the very top. 
The spectators roared and clapped and stamped their feet. Ooh, go, 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 clap, clap, clap. Agnado! <laughs> <laughs> Look, there she is. Patu, she's reached the top. Let's have a look. I think she'll be the winner. Mm. But it wasn't fast enough. Oh. In spite of all her training and all her hoping, it was Koala Claus who won the, tr the gum tree climbing. Koala Lu came second. Koala Lu went off and hid. She heard the shouts of the Bush Olympics and she cried her heart out. You know what? Does it matter if Koala Lu comes first or second? It doesn't matter at all. Can you give her a clap, Roshu? You know why? What matters is she participated. She tried hard. She trained and put in all the effort and that's the best she can do. And then like till the end, Roshu, she yeah. didn't give up. She finished it. She finished. So it's, it's participating and being part of it. That's the joy. And sometimes you don't have to come first, second or third. It's okay to come last as long as you've given it a try. Did you come first in everything you tried? No, nobody comes first in everything they do. Mm, so uh, there's no need to go and hide. Poor Koala Lu. I feel so sorry for her, Roshu. Me too. Let's have a look. I hope things improve for her. Look at all the hats flying in the air. Everybody's cheering her. When the first stars of evening appeared in the sky, Koala Lu crept home through the dark and up into the gum tree. Her mother was waiting for her. Before she could say a word, her mother had flung her arms around her neck and she said, Do I have to say something? Yes. I just want to give you a hug. No, but you have to say something too. Okay, fine. <laughs> Koala Lu, I do love you. I always have and I always will. And she hugged her for a very long time. <laughs> That's the best part. That's the best part. Look. Mummy was waiting for Koala Lu. There was no need for Koala Lu to hide. Mummy is so proud of her for even giving it a try. But to look at this. Oh. Actually, have a look at the shoes. <laughs> They're hanging coolly from the tree. And let's have a look. And that the is the end of the story. Patu, did you like the story? Yeah? I'm going to ask Roshu what he liked about this story. What did you like about the story, Roshu? I liked that throughout the whole story, Koala Lu's mother loved her so much. And that never changed. And that will never change. Doesn't matter if mommy has a lot of work. Doesn't matter if you've got brothers, sisters before you or after you. Doesn't matter if sometimes mommy can't give you a bath or put you to bed. She still has you in her heart. She loves you forever and forever. And doesn't matter if you come last. No, not at all. As long as you keep trying, that's all it matters. And Roshu and me, we don't see each other every day. He now lives in a different place. But when we see each other, it's we, even better. Even better. Okay, Patu. Be good, do good. And next week, we will catch up with another beautiful story. Bye, Patu. Bye. Thank you so much, Roshu, for reading this Thank with us. Thank you for us. having me. Bye.